Good evening. Hello. How are you, Nelly? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Good, thanks. How was your day? Boring. <laughs> Why? Ya me duele la espalda de estar acostada. Well, but you know, it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. So it's good if you enjoy it. <laughs> Ahora es cuando sí quiero ir a trabajar. <laughs> you know, it, it happens. Like, uh, when we are working, we, we count the days for our days off. And now that we're free, everybody wants to go to work. So we're never happy. Yeah. <laughs> that is part of yeah. being human, you know. But are you sleeping well? Nunca estamos contentos. Never. Yeah, we're never happy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Maria Luisa. Maria, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. I'm waiting for my cactus. See, I, I see my cactus is reprodu reproduction. I, I have... I said... I do, no, um, <laughs> it's okay. You give me the cactus after the emergency. <laughs> the cactus is reproduction. It's repro separate the, the, separate the, the hijitos. The, Offspring. 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 Aha. In in other recipient recipient. Container. Container. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cact cactus. It's like, it's, I, I like I like the cactus. Sure. Is my is my passion, passion? Yes. Yeah, it's your passion. Mm -hmm. Okay. See. Good. Let Relation. me write the word. The word is offspring. Offspring means retoño. Offspring. Ah. Okay. So offspring. you said I, I separate the cactus. So we can have new offsprings. Offsprings. Yes, offsprings. Lo puso en el, en el WhatsApp chat. En el chat. WhatsApp chat. Pero lo voy a poner en el de okay. la plataforma también. Offspring. Okay. So offspring, usted offspring. lo puede ocupar cualquier retoño, incluyendo, refiriéndose a sus hijos. Offspring. Ah, okay. Offspring. Yes. Offspring. Ah, All okay. right. Good. Very good. Welcome back. Today is March the 30th. March the 30th. My, my. March the 30th. March, March the 30th. Yes. March the 30th. March is history. See, si. March is, is gone. March. March is gone. It's done. Gone. 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 March okay. is gone. Yes, se fue, se ha ido. Yes. March. Finish. Yeah, it's, it's finished. Finish. Finish. Yeah. March. Finish. March is finished okay March right is what is what is the next month what's the next month april 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 very good april. Nice. My, my birthday is 
is ver is I April 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 what April uh, uh -huh. April <laughs> my birthday is fourteen April okay April fourteen okay good me too so when is yours? April 21st. Oh, one week after. Yes. <laughs> okay. So maybe we should we celebrate the two birthdays together. Yes. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Yeah, but maybe it's going to have to wait. We maybe have a party. we have a party. Sure. Yes, we can have a party. Yes. All right, so today is March the 30th. Um, do you remember what we did last class? Um, do you remember the topics? The, the, verbs, the verbs pass. Verbs in pass, very good. Verbs pass. Okay, can you refresh my memory? Um, what are the differences between regular and irregulars? Irregular is irregular. change change the the scribe. Okay, uh, Nelly. Pronunciation. The irregular verb verb change the base form. Okay, irregulars. Irregulars. Uh huh. And okay. regulars. Regulars, just we have to add ed or okay. And what is the function of ed? The song cannot be like a t. Okay, but, but what is the function of ed? What does ed indicate? Pass, pass for. Exactly. ED indicates that the verb is in past. In past. Yeah. Washed, cleaned. Um, and let's have a, let me see this here. Share. Share. You see the paper? You see the image? Yes. yes. Okay. Here we have a list of verbs that are regular. What is the past tense of scratch? Scratch. The past tense of scratch. Scratch. Uh-uh. Somebody, please help me. What's the past tense of scratch? Scratch. Good. Scratch. Scratched. Scratched. ED sounds like a T. Scratched. Scratched. Scratch. The past tense of crash. Right. Uh huh. The past tense of crash. Crashed. Crashed. Very good. The past tense of boil. 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 Very good. Boiled. Boiled. Answer. Answered. 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 Remember, don't be afraid to make mistakes. No se quede callado porque piensa que lo va a pronunciar mal. Porque pronunciando mal es que vamos a aprender. So, always try. Siempre tiene que intentar. Aunque le salga mal las primeras veces, así es como se aprende. So, anyway. Uh, the past tense of answer? Answered. Good. Answered. Answered. Clean? Cleaned. 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 Very good. Look. Look. Looked. 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 Push. 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 Ah, push. 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 ED sounds like a T. So you say pushed. 
Pushed. Put, yes, pushed. Press. Press. Pressed. Very Press. good. Knock. Knocked. Knocked. Okay. Very good. No, knocked. 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 Jump. Jumped. 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 Very good. Add. Added. 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 Exactly. Very good. Added. Walk. 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 Walked. Open. 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 Very good. Open. Talk. 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 Very good. Laugh. 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 La GH suena laugh. como una F. Laugh. Very good. Laugh. Very good. The past laugh. tense of laugh is laughed. Laugh. 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 Call. 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 Cold. 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 Suena parecido a frío, pero es diferente. Cold. So you say cold. 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 Yeah. Ah, ah. Cold. Cuando el pasado de cold haga de caso que la E no existe y solo le pone la D y usted dice cold. 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 Chew. 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 Well, ok, listen carefully. Cuando yo digo Chu. Should. ¿Cuál es el último sonido que oye? What is the last oh. sound? Should. Okay, but, but listen to my question. Listen to my question. I say, Chu. What is the last sound that you hear? Vowel sound. Vowel. Exactly. Suena una U. Vowel. Y la regla dice que si termina en vocal, la ED suena como una D. Entonces, como estaban diciendo ahorita, Chud. Come. 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 And paint. Painted. 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 Very good. What's paint? Pintar. Paint. Pintar. Come. Peinar. Come. Come your hair. Peinar. Come your hair. Um, Chu. Yeah. Masticar. Chu. Usted les dice a los niños, chew your food. Con tal de irse a jugar tragadas en la comida. Usted le dice, no, 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 chew your food. Chew your food. Chew your food. Exactly. All right. Do we have any questions about pronunciation? All this week, toda esta semana, vamos a trabajar en el pasado simple. Algo que usted necesita por el resto de sus vidas. It's not only for this class. It's not only for the next level. This is for the rest of your lives. Tiene que salir pulido esta semana con lo que se refiere al pasado simple. Okay. Independientemente ya pasó los exámenes y todo. Oh, de hecho, eh, no, me, no me quedó chance de revisar lo que me estaban preguntando. Hasta ahorita me estoy acordando. So sorry. But anyways. Ok, acuérdense de bajarle volumen a los televisores o ponerse en mute, please. Ok, uh, any questions about these verbs? What is the meaning of tick? Tick. Tick. Yes, tick. Tick, 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 tick. 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 It's like touch. Tick, tick is, is boleto. No, that is ticket. Ticket. It's different. It's different. Yeah. When you say uh, ticket, ticket has an extra syllable. Syllable. Yes. Tick. Okay. Tick. Tick, tick. What do you want? Tick. Okay, one second. So, tick, um, have you ever... 
Is garrapata. Is a <laughs> yes. Is garrapata. No, 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 no. Yes. Sí significa eso también, pero en este caso estamos hablando de verbo. Por ejemplo, usted se levanta a las 3 de la madrugada y oye claramente el reloj. Okay. O, como en, o como cuando en una película ponen el sonido cuando ya va a estallar una bomba. Tic, tic. Es cierto. Mm, es sí. Pero también significa el, el que dijeron, el animal ese. <risa> yes. Oh, sí. But in this case, it's a verb. All right, anyways. Okay. Um, do you have any questions about pronunciation? Teacher, ¿qué significa scratch? What's the meaning? Crash. Okay, pregúnteme en inglés, please. What's the meaning of scratch? What's the meaning is scratch? Scratch is like um, cuando algo, cuando usted se rasca. Aruñar. No, scratch, sí, puede ser, puede ser rascar, aruñar, pero si es algo material, es rayar. Digamos, usted está moviendo un closet de un cuarto a otro, no se fija y pasa dándole a la pared. You scratch the wall. Rayó la pared. Pero si a usted le pica ¿qué? La espalda, usted se rasca. You scratch. Es como cuando usted le dice a su esposo o esposa scratch my back. Scratch my back. Scratch my back. So scratch significa, si es a una persona, puede ser rascar o arañar. Si es algo material, es rayar. Okay. Any other scratch. questions? Scratch. Questions, questions? Scratch um, es estrellarse o estrellar. Sí, estrellarse o chocar. O chocar. Exactly. Okay. So yo le digo, hey, you look sad. Se ve triste. Y usted me dice, I crashed my car. Choqué mi carro. The crash. bird is new for me. Yes, good, good. Okay. Ahorita solo estábamos practicando lo que es el sonido de la ED. Pero de paso... Es bueno que se sepa qué significa cada una de ellas, porque todos son high frequency. You use these words every day. Boy, boy. All right, boy. anything else? What is boy? Hervir. Ah, um, boy, boy. Boil water. Boy, boy, boy. Pronunciation yes, is boil. 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 Yes, boil. Boil. All right. Any other questions before we change activity? No. All right. So let's continue. In the kitchen, Matthew. Okay, here we go. Okay, do you see that image? Yes. 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 Okay. What do you see on the left side? And what is this? What's this? The verb First. to be First. in present. Very good. Am is are is verb to be in present. Was were is verb to be in past tense. Pas. Now, listen to this. Si yo le digo, I am happy, is that an action or a condition? A condition. It's a condition. If I said, my sister is worried, is that an action or a condition? A condition. Yes. And if we say, we are ready, action or condition? Action. Are you sure? 
Condition. It's a condition. We are ready. Estamos listos. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. So, listen to this. De la misma manera que usted me acaba de contestar eso, de que el am, is, are, es para condiciones en tiempo presente, was, were, is for conditions in past. How do you say yo estuve enfermo? I was, sick. I was sick. Very good. I was sick. Was that an action or a condition? A condition. A condition. A condition. Yes. So if I say, Sonsonate was very hot today. Action or condition? Condition. Condition. Entonces, el was word, que vamos a estar viendo en el tiempo pasado, es para expresar condiciones en tiempo pasado. La semana pasada vimos el did, pero el did tiene una función diferente. Did es para acciones. Did is for actions. Was were is for conditions. Questions there. No. Was, was were uh, any, any person? Um, was were is what we use in past, but the difference is, let me show it to you right now. Let's see if it's this one here. No sé si es este de acá. No. Do you, do you see the image? Yeah. Dear. Okay. 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 Do you see the image? Yes. yes. Okay. La pregunta que me acaban de hacer. You, we, and they, you use word. I, he, she, it, you use was. What? So once again, if you want to express conditions in past tense, you have to use was were. Why do we have two options? Very simple. Because were is used with you, we, they, and was is used with I, he, she, and it. So, Ahí está, ¿por qué razón tenemos okay. was, were? Ahí está, ¿cuál pronombre personal yo voy a ocupar con cada uno de ellos? Okay. Are we okay there? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, when the information is negative, we say wasn't. Wasn't. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't is the contraction of? Was not. was not. Very good. Now, listen to this. Dijimos que para decir donde nosotros decíamos where, where, pero el pasado de are es were. Where. So where. weren't, where. weren't is the pa is the contraction of were not. Were not. Yes. Were. 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 Now listen to this. Vamos a dejar la número uno para después porque tiene una explicación separada. Look here. I need a volunteer to read the second sentence. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. Pretty young. You were pretty young. ¿Qué le dice ahí? You were pretty young. Eras muy joven. Eras muy joven. Action or condition? Condition. Condition. She was 17. Tenía 17 años. What is the negative was. of was? Was. 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 So this say, I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the United States. You were pretty young. You weren't Word. very old. Now, listen to this. How do you say yo compré? I bought. 
Ay, po. How do you say yo vi? I saw. Uh -huh. How do you say yo fui? I was. I went. I went. Ah, yo fui. How do you say yo caí? I fall. What is the past tense of fall? Fail. Fail. How do you say yo escribí? I wrote. I wrote. How do you say yo leí? I read. I read. How do you say yo vendí? I sold. I sold. Y el último. How do you say yo terminé? I finished. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Les acabo de preguntar una serie de verbos en tiempo pasado, regulares e irregulares. Para todos, ustedes me lo dijeron en su forma pasada. Ahora, fíjense bien. En inglés, el único verbo, el único verbo en inglés que para usted decirlo en tiempo pasado, usted por ley le tiene que poner el verbo was, es el verbo nacer. Entonces, si yo le pregunto, ¿cuál es el pasado del verbo burn? Usted por ley tiene que decirme was born. Was born. Entonces, si yo le voy a decir, yo nací en el año 71, yo por ley tengo que decirle, I was born in 1971. Es decir, el verbo en sí no se puede conjugar por sí solo para llevárnoslos al tiempo pasado. Usted por ley tiene que acompañarlo con el verbo to be. Y es el único verbo en inglés que sucede eso. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Vuelvo a repetir. Todo verbo regular, todo verbo irregular, tiene su forma en tiempo pasado, ya sea con una ed o cambiando su forma. El único verbo el cual usted va a conjugar a tiempo pasado y tiene que ponerle verbo to be es el verbo nacer. Entonces, ¿cómo usted me va a decir, mi hermano y yo nacimos el mismo año? We, my brother and I were born. Exactly. Very good. My brother and I were born. Were born. Were born. Were born. Y si le dice que están haciendo el mismo año, ¿qué son entonces? Gemelo. Exactly. Exactly. How do you how do you say um, ellos nacieron el año pasado? They, they were born. born. They were born. Born. Uh -huh. The past year. The uh -huh. past last year. Last, last year. year. They were born last year. Now, how do you say yo nací hace 30 años? I was, I was born, I was born, born years, ago. years ago. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Very good. Estamos bien. Estamos bien. So, any questions here so far? Entonces, por esa razón, aquí está este ejemplo que dice, yo nací en Corea, ellos nacieron el mismo año. Como les acabo de dar la explicación, el verbo nacer, por ley, tiene que ir acompañado del verbo to be. En algunas ocasiones va a ser was, en otras va a ser were. It all depends who the person is, who the personal pronoun is. Any questions? So how do you say no estábamos interesados? We weren't interested. 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 Uh -huh. How do you say ella no estaba aquí? She wasn't here. She wasn't here. She wasn't here. Very good. Any questions? Okay, so let's let's do some practice. Yeah. 
Where is this picture? Where? In a beauty salon. In a beauty salon, exactly. In a beauty salon. Yes. How many people in the picture? Three people. Three people. Three people. What is this lady doing? What is she doing? She's reading. She's reading. Is, is, reading. is she standing or sitting? Sitting. 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 sitting? sitting. What's the name of this? Mirrors. Mirror. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's the name of this? Scissors. 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 Very good. Scissors. Okay, so we we are in a beauty salon. We're in a beauty salon and we have three people. What is this guy doing? Cutting her hair. Cutting hair. Is he standing or sitting? Standing. What, what is he wearing? His pants. Green pants. Green pants. Shoes. 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 Okay, he's wearing green right. pants. And shoes white. White shoes, maybe? White shoes? Is he skinny? No. Is he skinny? No. He's fat. Is he fat? Look at, no. look at, look, look at his he, arms. He's not fat. He's well built. well built. Well built. Okay, let me put that expression in the, in the WhatsApp chat. Cuando alguien va al gimnasio, sea hombre o mujer, usted para describir dice well built. Well y ya built. se entiende que esta persona, pues digamos, está dando la, la descripción de alguien. You say, and he's well built. Well built. Well built. Literalmente, ¿qué dice ahí? Well built. Bien construido. Correcto. Y, pero es la expresión que se ocupa para decir cuando alguien va al gimnasio. Si usted le ve la foto a este chico, well, well. he goes to the gym, right? Okay, any questions about the picture? Es como musculoso. Por decir así, o alguien que tiene una buena figura. Okay, any questions mm -hmm. about the picture? No. Okay. So we have Chuck and we have Melissa. Once again, I'm going to read the first time. You pay attention for any vocabulary in particular or any pronunciation and you ask me after. So here we go. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the U.S. Now, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. <laughs> okay, questions. Questions, questions? No, 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 everything's fine. Okay, so I need two volunteers. I need Chuck and I need Melissa. Melvin, you are Chuck. Very good. Thank you. And Melissa? Melissa? Where are you, Melissa? Are you here, Melissa? Okay, Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> Maybe a man. Okay, thank you, Nelly. You're Melissa. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, lights, camera, action. 
Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born, weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Um, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. <laughs> All right, questions there about, uh, um, about the conversation? No. En la tercera intervención de Chuck dice, hmm, you were pretty young. What's the meaning of pretty in this context? Muy joven. Está muy joven. Muy, Ajá. muy. Sí, en ese caso aplica como muy. Very good. What is, is the meaning? If... Excuse me? Y el pretty del final? Young. Pretty Bonito young? Sería. Pretty young. Pero pretty good. El, el pretty good. Uh, bueno. Where? Oh, muy bueno. Ah. Y aquí dice muy joven, allá dice allá muy, bueno. muy bueno. Yes. Bueno. Okay. What about this expression? Right away. What's the meaning of right away? Inmediatamente. Yes, immediately. Immediately. Right away. Right away. All right. So, vamos a hacer las parejas. Igual que la vez pasada, todos querían participar, yo lo sé. Pero no quiero que nadie se vaya a acostar con ese sentimiento que no pudieron leer. Así que vamos a... Picture of this. Ahorita les mando la imagen al chat de WhatsApp. Right here. Tararán. So, usted puede tomarle captura de pantalla a la computadora ahorita si gusta. Si no, pues se va para, para el chat de WhatsApp y ahí está. So, let's do this. Let's do this here. Break up rooms. Seven. Three. Let's go. Hello. Hello, Hello Nelly. Nelly and Nelson. Hello, teacher. How are you, Nelson? Hey. How was your day? Oh, uh, relax. Good. In my house. Good, good. Who lives with you, Nelson? Uh, excuse me? Who lives with you? Who lives? Uh, I don't know. No understand. Pregúnteme a mí y va a ver cómo le respondo. Who lives ah. with you, Francisco? Who lives is Francisco? I live with my wife and two children. Ah. Who lives with uh, you? Um, my wife, uh, three, three little girls. Oh, what ages? Um, uh, uh, 15. 15. 15. Um, uh, 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay. Um, 21. Oh, 15, 20, and 21. Yeah. W uh, one teenager and two young adults. Well, right? One teenager and two ah, young adults. Two young. Yeah, yeah. 
Sí. Nelly, do you have children, Nelly? No. Okay. All right. So here we go. Practice the conversation and start practicing. Okay. okay. Your chop. Your you. Okay. Chuck Norris. <laughs> go ahead, Maria. Okay. Um, I I chop or, or yes or Melissa. Yes, you change. Oh, now okay. I you are chop. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? Yes, I was only seventeen. Did you go to co to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Yeah, but I was born here. Yes. yes. All right. But, but this, but this. Finish English. All right, good. Let's return to the main session. Okay. All right, did you finish practicing? Yeah. Yes. Any questions about the conversation? Ah! Is everything clear in the conversation? Los, los años pueden decirse por separado. Es decir, 19... Yes. A -A. Or 1999. Yes, uh, good question. When we talk about years, usually, not always, but usually, you separate the four digits. You separate the four numbers, and first you mention two, and then you mention the other two. So in my case, I was born in 1971. Mm -hmm. ¿En qué año nací? En 1971. En el 71. Ahora, fíjese bien. I was born in 1971. Estoy diciendo 1971. Pero si yo le pregunto, miro, eh, ¿cuántas personas fueron entrevistadas? Usted para decirme 1971 me lo va a decir completamente diferente. Usted me va a decir 1971. A pesar que estamos Ajá, hablando sí, de los de la... mismos cuatro números, las cantidades se dicen diferente a los, a los años. Ya, yeah. ok. Yes, so, yes, usually you separate the years. Ok. Do you remember the year when El Salvador became independent from Spain? 16. When did El Salvador become independent from Spain? ¿Alguien que responde esa pregunta? 822. Near. Cerca, cerca. 1821. Exactly. So how do you say 1821 in English? 1821, 21st? 1821. 1821. 1821. Entonces, si usted nació en el año 99 o antes, usted Yo siempre voy a decir 1971. La independencia de El Salvador de España 
1821. 1821. La firma de los acuerdos de paz, ¿cuándo fue? Eh, en el 91. ¿Cómo lo va a decir en inglés? How do you say it in English? 1992. ¿Es 92 o 91? 91. I think it's 91. 92. 92. <laughs> I don't remember. 91, 92. Anyways, but that's 92. the idea. That's the idea. You separate the years. You separate the years. Entonces, 92, okay. teacher. Okay, 92. Yeah, 92. Okay, 92. So, uh, ahorita en su mente se tiene que estar diciendo, I was born, y ya dice el año en que nació. I was born in 1971. <coughs> Can you say the year when you were born? In 1995. 95. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> you're 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 extremely young. <laughs> sí. Eric, when were you born? I was 19. I was born. Eight. I was born 1986. 86. Yes. Okay. Kind of young too. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, ya no sigo preguntando porque hay gente que no le gusta la pregunta. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Any questions about, uh, about the reading that we practiced? No. All right. Let me see this here. Share this. Now, so we said, what's word if it's the if the information is positive? Wasn't or weren't? It's if the information is negative. Now, if you want to make questions, para hacer preguntas, simplemente usted va a poner was were al inicio y automáticamente se convierte en pregunta. Pregúnteme si estuve en mi casa todo el día. No. Are you stay at home all day? Okay, but past tense, past tense. Oh. Were was you fast at home? Solo tiene que preguntarme, ¿estuvo usted en su casa todo el día? Was your... Were you... Were you, were you, were you in your, your house all day? All day. Good, all day. very good. Were you in your house all day? Solo tengo dos opciones para responderle, sí o no. Bien sencillo. Pregúnteme si mi hermano estuvo aquí hoy. Was your brother in your house today? Ajá. De igual manera, las únicas dos respuestas que yo tengo es sí o no. Pregúnteme si mis papás nacieron en San Salvador. Were your parents born in San Salvador? Very good. Una vez más, las únicas dos opciones que yo tengo para responderles, sí o no. Ahora, si yo quiero ser más específico, entonces yo ahí le voy a poner un WH word. A ver, uh, please refresh my memory. What is a WH word? What were we? How we took? Ajá, ¿dónde, cuál? ¿Cuándo? ¿Por qué? Ajá. Ok, so look here. Fíjense bien. Ya en estas preguntas de acá. When were you born? ¿Cuándo nació usted? Ahí la respuesta ya no va a ser ni sí ni no, sino que voy a ser bien específico. When was he born? ¿Cuándo nació él? 
De igual manera, ya no puedo responder con un sí o con un no, porque quieren información en, en, en particular. ¿En qué ciudad nacieron? De igual manera, yo tengo que responder con algo bien específico. Pregúnteme por qué estaba yo triste. Why were you sad? Exactly. Why were you sad? Why were you sad? Allá no le puedo responder con un sí ni con un no. Me dijeron, why were you sad? You sad. ¿Por qué estaba usted triste? Why were you sad? Respóndame esa pregunta, please. Answer that question. Why were you sad? Ahí en el chat respóndala. Why were you sad? Respóndame con cualquier cosa que se le venga a la mente. ¿Por qué estaba triste? Why were you sad? Because I saw a sad movie. Very good. Because I can't go out. Very good. What else? Excelente esas respuestas. Vamos a ver los demás. Because I do not work. Because I was locked up. <laughs> ¿Saben lo que significa locked up? Encerrado. Eh, sí, pero preso. Locked up. I was sad because I was working. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent. So, pregúnteme. Si yo le digo a usted... Fíjese que el año pasado fui a México. ¿Cómo me va a preguntar usted cuándo estuvo usted allá? When, when were you in Mexico? Last year. When, when were you there? When were you there? When were... When... Were you there? ¿Cuándo estuvo usted allá? When, When were you there? When were you there? You go like this. When were When were you there? I was there in December. I was there at the end of the year. I was you there. Do. For New Year's, for my birthday, yes. Yes. Pregúnteme dónde estaba él. ¿Dónde estaba él? Where was he at? Was he at? Yes, you can include the preposition at. So, where were you, where was he? Where was he at? The two options are good. Where was he? Where, in, where was he? Where was he? Understand. Why was she hungry? Teacher, tiene el micrófono apagado. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so as you Why can was see, she hungry? Okay. Bad connection. Yeah, bad connection. Um, when he there? Where was he? Why was she angry? And who was here? Ahí estoy haciendo preguntas en tiempo pasado con was y were, pero estoy siendo bien específico, pidiendo información en particular. We will continue with this topic tomorrow. Do you have any questions about today? 
We have to answer that question. It would be nice. It would be nice. Esas preguntas que le acabo de poner en el chat, trate de responderlas. Usted solito respóndalas para que vaya familiarizándose y vaya exponiéndose más a este tema. Any questions okay. about today? No, teacher. Okay. Nice. So, y Nelly no nos quiso dar vino, ¿verdad? <laughs> Oh, sí, eso está no, 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 no quiso compartir. Qué barro. Oh my God. Ah, está, está bien, Nelly, no comparto. Eh. Aquí tengo. Ok, thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night, Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Yeah.